Look, let me be honest with you, scaling your marketing agency to three, four, or even 5K a month is cool. It's awesome, it's impressive, congrats to you. But if you're trying to build a multi six figure agency, an agency that pulls in $20,000, $30,000, or 40, or even $50,000 in a single month, then what got you to four, five, or even 10K a month is probably not gonna get you to 20, 30, 40, or 50K a month. And I want you to know this because a lot of people just don't know this. So they assume that whatever got them to 10K a month will get them to 20K a month. And what usually happens, and I've seen this happen to dozens of people, is that they get stuck and they plateau at the 10K per month mark. There's someone I know who genuinely has had a six figure agency that pulls in around, you know, between eight to 12K a month consistently for the last two years, which is cool, right? If that's your goal, awesome. But I know this person has been actively trying to scale past that. So they've been there for two years, making 10K a month, but every month they're showing up with the hopes of getting to 15 to 20 to 25 to 30. What I found is that there are some secrets that you probably don't know about and most people don't know about that hold them back. So I'm going to outline the six secrets that are very clear to me having taken my agency from 0 to 10k a month in 45 days and then from 10k a month to 50k a month within roughly a year after we started. Point number one, it is really, really important that you of course celebrate your wins. If you sign a new client or you upsell a client from a small package to a big package, that's cool, right? It's good stuff. You should celebrate, soak in the win. But you should only celebrate these wins temporarily. I often see many people where they have a great month, right? Good month for their business. And they end up blowing, you know, a week or two weeks celebrating, partying, enjoying life. GN is, is cool, like good for you. But it then completely knocks off their following month. So they have a high and then they have a low. Now, while I'm saying this, I do want to stress the fact that you should celebrate your wins. There was a time where I did not celebrate any wins and it didn't matter if I had a, a 1K day or a 5K day, I didn't celebrate, you know? Like I just took it as, okay, I just made 5K, but I need to make another 5K tomorrow or 6K or 7K or else I'm gonna fall off. And that mindset is a little bit toxic. So you need to understand that you have to get this balance. But as I mentioned, most people fall into the the first camp, which is the camp that celebrates way too hard and then completely knocks off the progress. Secret number two is that, you know, going from again, zero to 10K a month, you can do a whole lot of busy, not very productive work, work that doesn't bring revenue into your business. And you can be working, you know, 10, 12 hours a day. But getting to 20, 30, 40, 50K a month by doing busy work is virtually impossible. Right now with my agency, I'm probably putting in about, 30 to 40 minutes of work per day. You know, we're looking at a total of maybe three hours a week. And of course I could sit down and work for 10 hours. I could do like a ton of busy work. You know, I could do a whole lot of things that like are busy, make me feel productive. And, but ultimately they don't do anything, right? They don't bring in new revenue and they really don't have to be done. So I want you to realize that you have to stop doing probably a good 20 or 30 percent of the things that you're doing right now in fact for some of you you're gonna have to cut out 80 percent of the things you're doing so you're either gonna have to remove the tasks completely you're gonna have to delegate them to someone who's experienced and knows what they're doing or hire someone give them an sop that is so brutally straightforward and to the point that they can't not understand it or automate the task if you work for an hour and you look at that task that you got done in the hour like that task should be worth money. If that task was, you know, a $10 an hour task or a task that a virtual assistant could have done for $3 an hour, that's a complete waste of your time. You need to be focused on those tasks that are going to bring in 50 euro an hour, 100 euro an hour, 200 euro an hour, right? You got to get very selective. You got to get picky with your time. If you don't, trust me, you're just not going to scale. That, that person I mentioned who's been at 10k a month for two years now, he works all day every day. You know, he's doing busy work. He's constantly working. Most people would look at him and be like, geez he's such a hard worker yeah he's a hard worker but he doesn't need to be he could work two hours a day and make way more money he's focused on the wrong things secret number three is that clients are going to drop you it's impossible to keep every one of your clients and as you start to scale your business right if you're going from 10k to 20k to 30k to 40k you're going to have times where your retention rate drops because look guys when you sign more clients naturally your level of service you know the quality of service you give to your clients 
it's gonna drop. Now, it's, it doesn't have to drop forever, but there is gonna be a temporary drop, where because you're scaling so fast and you're bringing in so many new clients, naturally your attention is gonna be split. It's gonna be more focused on this side, so your results for your clients and the experience is naturally gonna drop. And that sometimes can cause an effect where you're scaling, yet you're actually losing more clients now, and you may end up balancing out. And I'm speaking from experience, this has happened to me. So I want you to get used to the fact that clients are gonna drop you, right? You gotta emotionally detach from the fact facts that maybe once a month you're going to get an email from a client saying hey cancel our contract and sometimes it's going to be your favorite client it's going to be your biggest client it's going to be that client that's pulling in 3k a month for you you got to get used to that and on the back of that you need to make sure that you're not attached to any of your clients of course you can have a personal relationship with them and you can be you know kind of like a colleague and a friend to them but right now i'm you know i'm not that to any of my clients if a client leaves like it doesn't impact me because we have a system we'll get more clients now of course right take this with a pinch of salt okay you obviously need to be focused on giving an amazing service amazing experience to your clients and your goal ultimately is to keep as many of those clients for as long as possible right and if you said to them that you're going to do something you better damn do it so don't skimp on your service but i just need you to understand that you are going to lose clients i remember we lost a client that was paying us 3k a month by far our biggest client and there was really nothing we could do. They were pretty much going out of business. They were focused elsewhere. It was three founders. They all had different businesses. This business was really just a side thing and they weren't putting the focus in that they needed to put in. And so when they dropped us, you know, I remember being annoyed and I was like, oh my God, that's our biggest client. But once I went through that, I learned that that's gonna happen. Part of the game. Life is a game, guys. And you gotta realize that you can either play the game and understand it's a game, or you can be completely naive to it and get completely emotionally distraught every time something bad happens to you. That's a whole rant for another day, but you get my point. Point number four, you are your own bottleneck. Again, if you were to give me 10 people that are making 10K a month or less in their agency, I can guarantee you that eight to nine of those agency owners are their own bottleneck. And they are the reason they're not scaling. They're either 100% in control of their lead generation and their lead flow, meaning that if they don't work, they don't book meetings, or they're completely in charge of service delivery so that if they don't work, the clients don't get the service that they paid for. And this often happens to people who go down the freelance route where they offer Facebook ads or social media management to their client, but they do it all themselves. They never outsource the work. They never hire freelancers and contractors. And you've essentially built yourself a job. It might be a good paying job, a high paying job, and one that you like doing, but it may not be the job that's gonna get you to 20K a month. Now, this is a hard thing to do. I know for myself, when we got to about 10K a month, I was the bottleneck for the amount of meetings that we got booked and the amount of clients that we signed. And then for the next year, I was able to remove myself from the lead generation outreach process. Okay, so meetings were coming in, but I was still the bottleneck in terms of taking sales calls and actually closing the clients. So that's something I worked on for a few months and then got myself out of that position. And now I have someone, a salesperson, that handles all that for me. So you have to constantly be thinking, am I holding myself back? Am I the bottleneck right now in my business? And again, most times you are. Which leads me on to point number five, which is that you are ultimately stopping your own progress and you need to stop stopping your own progress. Now, this may show up in the beliefs that you carry each day, your thoughts about how much money you can make and how much money you can bring into your business. So a lot of this is gonna be on a you know subconscious, subliminal level where you're just telling yourself these thoughts all the time, such as, oh my God, 20K a month is a lot of money or, wow, I'm so lucky to be making 10K a month, you know, I couldn't imagine making more. If you're telling yourself these kind of thoughts, it is completely natural that you're now gonna act in accordance with those thoughts and those beliefs. So this is not law of attraction or manifestation, but think of it this way, right? If you tell yourself, I'm making 10K a month, I, you know, I could never believe that I would make this much money, but I don't know how I'm gonna make 20K a month. Well, sure enough, you're probably not gonna make 20K a month. Why? Because anytime you start to see progress towards making a little bit more money, you start to probably doubt it. You start to believe that, oh, this is not for me and this is a chance thing and it's gonna drop the next month and my income's gonna go back down. And so now those beliefs that you have are actually shaping the actions you're taking. You take your foot off the pedal, you celebrate a little too much and boom, we're back down to 10K a month. And the biggest secret of them all, this is something that I genuinely have been telling people for the last two years, and is the fact that if you're running an agency, in fact, any type of business, right? 
you have to know your numbers, right? If you're telling me you want to get to 20k a month, I want you to be able to tell me exactly how many clients you need, your exact retention rate, how many meetings you need each week, and how many messages slash cold emails slash Loom videos you need to send out. You need to know the numbers. And if you don't know the numbers, that's where you've got to start. And this is something I actually give to my high level students. It's an entire planner that will give you these exact numbers. We'll calculate your ideal retention rate, how many team members you need. We call it the capacity calculator. It's gonna tell you how many clients you need each month, how many sales calls you need to take, how many meetings you need to book, literally every single number so that you're not constantly going, hey, I wish I could hit 20K a month. You're saying, hey, I wish I could have five meetings a week, All right? And then we go and we say, okay, cool. How do we get five meetings a week? Well, we need to send X number of messages or X number of Loom videos. So now you're not focused on the output of 20K a month. You're focused on the inputs that we have reverse engineered to know that you need to do to get that result. So instead of then showing up and being demotivated because you're not hitting 20K months, you just hit the numbers that you've laid out that we've mapped out together you hit those and there's no way that you don't hit 20K a month unless you've done something completely wrong in the business. So numbers do not lie. You cannot scale your business on a whim, on a guess. Well, look, you can, but you're not gonna scale it with predictability, right? I know people that have scaled from 10K to 20K a month and they've had no idea what their numbers were and you know they didn't have an outreach system. All their clients were word of mouth and came from referrals, but that is rare. If you want predictability and you wanna know exactly how much you're gonna make the next month, you need to know those numbers. Now, if you have any interest in finding out a little bit more about my high level program, which takes agency owners who are somewhere under the 10K per month mark and scales them up to 20, 30, 40, and 50K a month, again, with predictability, without working 10 hours a day, with the right systems, and as a CEO, not a freelancer. If you wanna find out more about that program, go ahead and click the link below this video to book in a quick 10 minute call with myself. It's not a sales call, don't worry, we genuinely only accept someone into this program if they're a good fit. It's the kind of program where it's intensive. We hold you accountable to everything every single week. So if you're just not a good fit and you wanna to pay to join, we're not gonna let you in. The success of that program is based on the fact that the people that join are typically invited. And if they weren't invited and they booked a call to join, we gotta make sure you're a good fit. So those are six secrets. I could probably make a part two of this video. If you want that, definitely let me know below. And let's get your agency scaling. Have a good rest.